Lulu, it's me again. Uh, please call me back and let me know you at least get these messages. Let me know you're okay. Please. All right, bye. Morning. So, I want a full report. I'm sure there was lots of drama after I left yesterday. How's Lulu? Really? Where do you think she ran off to? The Quartermains? Poor thing, having to be shacked up at the nicest house in town. I haven't heard from her. I'm not surprised. She's probably with Bobby. I doubt she went over to Lucky and Elizabeth. They probably had a bad night, too. I haven't heard from her in almost 12 hours. She'll resurface, Logan, maybe around dinner time. She's just off playing with poor little Lulu. Get out. I can't believe you're buying into this. All you have to do is leave us alone. Hey, a deal is a deal. We made a bet that you would nail Lulu, and you did. And then some. I was the reward, and I paid up. Why, why did you tell her? The whole plan was to humiliate Lulu, remember? We decided from the beginning we were going to tell her, so you can't be mad about that. I'm so glad Coop's right of you. She's such a waste. At least I didn't pretend to care about Lulu. You don't understand what you've done. Come on. On. Lulu was asking for it, begging for it, really. I mean, the way she was sauntering around throwing herself at you and the moving in, Logan, I know that was not your idea. She was my chance. No. She is a spoiled brat who never has to pay for anything that she does. She broke up Dylan and Georgie. She accidentally got pregnant. Convinced everyone to feel sorry for her. Then had an abortion. She's always whining about her parents, and at least her mom has an excuse for not wanting to be in her life. Her dad wants to be around sometimes, which is more than I can say for either one of us. How can you feel sorry for yourself after what you've done? I just think that Lulu needs to pay for the choices that she makes. No one made her fall in love with you, Logan, when she obviously belongs with that cyber geek guy who follows her around like a wounded puppy. I mean, how did she think it was going to turn out with you, sweet you, and tender? You think you can do this? Hurt her and, and not pay for it? See, you're the one that hurt her, Logan. You made her think that you care about her when we both know that she's not what you need. You have no idea what I need or who I am. God. She's really gotten to you, hasn't she? I need to speak. For you are unworthy even to say her name. How can anyone uh, hurt such a wonderful girl? I... Lulu? Open the door. What do you want? Don't make me call the cops. What? A rough night? What are you doing here? I heard about Lulu. So? Any idea where she is? If I did, do you think I'd be here? Who messed up your face? Why do you care? Look, you are not my son. But if you were... I know. I know. I've lived down your expectations. I've ended up hurting the girl, right? I 
think Lulu's gonna be all right. Maybe. But she ain't coming back to me. Well, I can't argue with you there. Not that I blame her. You know, Lulu was the best I... Anyway, I, I just never thought Maxie would be that cruel. Hey, 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 Maxie didn't do this alone. Look, you don't want to claim me as your kid, you don't get to judge. Okay, okay, fair enough. You know, I, I thought that I could somehow be this, this great guy Lulu thought I was, but... But I'm not, you know? And the look in the girl's eyes when she put it all together. I don't have any idea why I'm telling you this. Well, let me tell you something, all right? I know exactly how you feel. I don't know why I even came hey, over here. Hey, no one's asking you to stay, all right? You know, if I did the guardianship all over again, I wouldn't have dragged Lulu into it. At least, I, I hope I wouldn't have. I mean, that girl's had a, a rough life. She's got a bum for a father and all kinds of stuff, you know? She, she didn't need that from me. And she didn't need that crap from you. Listen, what, what, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I know what it's like. You find that special, that great girl, one in a million, and then you lose her. And you got nobody to blame but yourself. It... Nobody's heard from Lulu. You blame me, don't you? It's none of my business. I thought she'd come back, you know, she'd cool off. You and Lulu are friends. You, you have any, uh, any idea where she might be? Logan. We're not that close. Isn't there someone you can call? What about Dylan? What do you know? Uh, Dylan is Georgie's ex-husband. Lulu broke them. Shut up. Don't you tell my sister to shut up. Logan, you know, I'm not really sure why you're so mad at me. All I did was follow the plan. What happened to your face? You're miserable, you know that? You can't stand for anyone to even try and be happy. You're pathetic. Sooner or later, what you did is going to come back to haunt you. Okay, so we trace on highest priority. We should have the results soon. She is. She is just waiting. Hitchhiking. Why, why didn't she call me? People make bad choices when they've been hurt. Or maybe she thought I would mock her or say I told you so or even fear for the safety of the Simeon one even though he broke her heart. Maybe I drove her to this. Okay, you need to stop that right now. Lulu's a lot like Carla. When she gets upset, she does crazy things too. You can't take it on yourself. The trace. The car's registered to John Zakara? Did Lulu get into an automobile with the most evil of them all? <laughs>